Welcome back to Last Request Barbecue. This request is from my very good friend, Denise, who lives in uh, Parks Unknown in the United States, but is actually born and raised here and is visiting me today uh, to have some dinner. And she said, what? I love a great Portuguese roasted chicken. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. The chicken is already a brining. I'd use this uh, cattleman's brine. Uh, very simple, just pour it in, add water throw the chicken in for about an hour. It doesn't need to be in there longer. And uh, we're with our chicken, we're having some sous vide potatoes, uh, lovely little sous vide, little mini potatoes uh, with butter and some other spices kind of mixed in. We're about to throw that in the sous vide machine and uh, we're gonna spice it up. We've got the Crown Verity geared up on the big rotisserie. Let's get started. All right, so uh, step one obviously is to get our chicken out of the brine. Once again, I've been using this uh, Cattleman's Butcher House brine, kind of a good basic brine. About half that package with uh, enough water to fill and cover up our chicken, which is right here. So let's get that out of the brining solution. There we go. Now I got one of these uh, nice little organic chickens already pre-wrapped, which makes our lives a lot easier. Kind of, I could never really tie them out well, very well. So it's already pre-tied. What could be better? Now for the brine solution, you know, normally you'd throw it out for me because I've got a nice well down here, water retention in the Crown Verity and there's no water. I'm gonna pour it in to the Crown Verity, which not only is gonna add humidity to our cook, but also a little bit of flavor because we'll have that brine down there cooking up. All right, so now let's get this onto our rack. It's a pretty simple recipe. Now, if you've got a barbecue, maybe you may, might have come with a rotisserie. If it came with a rotisserie, beautiful. Use it more often. Now, I wanna space this so that uh, this center part is where I'm gonna cook it. And I'm not going to cook it under direct heat. So the heat is gonna be around it versus under it. Because when it comes under it, you know, you start to get flare ups and it really blackens the chicken. That doesn't add a great flavor. And now we uh, get our skewer. There we go. In our chicken. Pop that in. Yeah, that looks like about the right place. Let's pop our other one in. I always like to use the gloves when I'm handling poultry. There we go. Let's get that up. And this really squished in here. Now, how's that? Perfect. Put this pin in uh, that holds the rotisserie and the Crown Verity together. So it spins nicely. There we go. So let's tighten these up. I actually uh, learned this trick watching my friends at Mario's Chicken in Mississauga, whose sauce we're gonna use today, by the way. They use a pair of pliers. For me though, it's got these flywheel and I could never get them tight enough. And I don't know why it didn't dawn on me earlier, just use a wrench and tighten them up because that way everything's gonna hold together. All right, now what we'll do, we'll start the barbecue and uh, then I like to season it as it's starting to go. So let's uh, turn it on and we'll get going. All right, our chicken's now been uh, roasting for about uh, an hour and change. It's looking super delicious, as you can see. Now I'm gonna put some of this Mario's Piri Piri sauce. This is in uh, Mississauga, North Toronto. Now, you may not have access to this sauce where you are. Find a great Piri Piri sauce that you like. I, don't go for like a chicken wing sauce, like a buffalo chicken wing sauce, that's not the intent, but try to go find a good Portuguese Piri Piri sauce. And so what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit on here to start kind of three quarters or you know, 75, 80% of the way there. And again, good that we don't have the fire below because there's an oil base in this. And that's just gonna add some moisture and some of that delicious Piri Piri. All right, don't be shy on how much you put in. Uh, I'll be putting more in, but uh, that's kind of like our middle in-between add of some Puri Puri sauce. All right, let's cover it up. So it's time to get our uh, potatoes cooking. So uh, we've got some delicious potatoes, shrink wrapped, vacuum sealed here, the little potato company, and uh, added some butter and added some uh, different spices. And we are gonna pop it into our sous vide machine at 190 degrees for an hour. And that makes some nice snap to the potatoes. You know, if you're having some good Piri Piri rotisserie chicken, having some delicious potatoes is a natural to go with. So uh, simply pop it in. As I said, we've got our temperature up to 190. So you gotta be careful with your hand. There we go, just get that down there. Okay, all right. And uh, we'll leave that in there for an hour. So as I mentioned, I didn't have a thermometer inside the, uh, or attached to our chicken, but I have my meter here. Obviously the chicken is pretty close uh, to being completed, but based on this beautiful look, I've already put some sauce on it, but I did want to add in the meter, which will kind of give me a, a constant ongoing. And if you have these meters, they're great. They give you both ambient temperature and there's a little notch here, just to always make sure and get into the right place 
in the chicken, which I'm going to put in right here, right up to that notch. All right, let's uh, turn that back on. Small chicken, so I imagine, small but tasty, I imagine we're pretty much there. Let's uh, open up the meter app, and where are we at? Oh, look at that, one, perfect. 147, coming along nicely, doesn't give me an ambience yet. I'm, I'm looking for one. Uh, 165 ideally, which is fine in a chicken like this, it'll be nice and tasty. Okay, now we'll keep an eye on it with the meter. So I love cast iron cooking and I've got a complete set of cast iron pans. I like the Lodge, I love this one, the Canada Lodge. But as you can see, this one's looking a little rough. It's not really that rough. I cleaned it and now, you know, how do you clean your cast iron? It's, I made a ratatouille recipe in it yesterday, so it got a good workout. How do I bring it back to life? I found this great product from uh, Karen and Doucette, a Quebec uh, company uh, here in Canada, and it really brings your cast iron back to life. But more importantly, it doesn't add a stickiness and it doesn't go a rancid, like you could use other oils, but I have found uniformly that I can bring the cast iron back to life. And you kind of see the before and after here, really quite nice. Looks like the lodge just came right off the shelf. You can buy it directly from them or get it on Amazon, but it is really a, a great product. There we go, check that out. And there you go, cast iron, back to life. All right, we're done now. The chicken, uh, according to the meter, is now 165, and actually about 170 degrees. So we're gonna take this off. Now the last step actually we're gonna do is put a bit more of the Piri Piri on our chicken, just to give it that last bit of Portuguese Piri Piri love. Once again, for my friends at Mario's, finish that off. Beautiful. So let that sit in and now let's get this off. Thank you, Princess Automotive, for these welding gloves because this thing is super hot. And unleash our chicken. And there we go. Let's let that rest for a minute. Now while we're watching, we're letting that rest, our potatoes are done in our sous vide. Let's turn that off. Now these, it's 190 degrees, so you don't, once again, don't want to be reaching into that water. But there we go. Check those out. Amazing. Let's, we'll cut those open, put those off to the side now. We'll let them sit for a bit and uh, let's start carving up our chicken. Time to carve up this chicken. Uh, I always like to start with legs first and just falling apart. Look at that. Just coming right apart. Let's get this string out of here, of course. There we go. Beautiful. Fall off the bone Portuguese rotisserie chicken. Now, Last thing about carving, you know, find your center spot and carve down and pull sideways. And you, there you go, you've separated a perfect, perfect chicken breast quarter. And we're done. Perfect. Well, it was a great cook today. Portuguese rotisserie chicken piri piri sauce on top with some uh, delicious rosemary infused potatoes. Let's, uh, let's have a try and see how it came out. Mmm. Delicious. Try it yourself. Easy to do. If you don't have a rotisserie, you can put it in a pan and basically follow the same steps. But let me tell you, this cooks it 100% through and through. See you again next time.